Hi, I am Naresh. In this video, I will show you a demonstration about webhooks. By using webhooks, I will try to integrate Jira software and Oxygeny. So, let us go to settings. And here you can see the system. And come to bottom of the slide. Here you can see the webhooks. So from here, you can create a webhook. So to create a webhook, you need a URL. And if you want to filter the issues, you can give the JQL here. So before giving URL and this uh, JQL, uh, let us go to the home page again. and. Uh, so I am, okay. So I'll try to integrate this test software project with Oxygeny. So my aim is I need to create a alert in Oxygeny whenever a issue is created in test software project. This is my use case. So to do that, first of all, you need to find JQL for this. Let me go to advanced research and let me go to basic and uh, let me remove this created date within the last uh, by default. This is uh, newly added by Jira. I don't know why they added this to the JQL, but this is an annoying feature. Let me remove this and uh, let me go to project. Let me select the first uh, software test software project. Uh, no. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Let me select a test software project. Okay. So, and I switch to JQL. Okay. So actually, I don't want to filter the issues. So I want to uh, notify on call team in the oxygen whenever a issue is uh, created in test software project. Okay, I don't have any particular about uh, issue type. So I want to create alert for each and every issue which is going to create in test software project. So that is my aim. That's why. So I am selecting only the project and uh, let me switch to JQL. You can copy this JQL and uh, paste this in webhook jql so uh, uh, for now just keep this aside and uh, let us move to oxygeny and go to teams and uh, i am selecting testing team okay so whenever an issue is created in sp project okay we need to notify the on call team of testing okay so that is the use case Therefore, we need to go to integrations tab in testing team. There you can see that add integration button. So let me go to add integration. And here you are having a number of options. Okay, with various tools to integrate. I am selecting the Jira software legacy. Okay, I am selecting Jira software legacy. Yes. Now, see here, you are having URL for the webhook and you need to select issue created and issue updated in the webhook of the Zira. So, let me copy this. And before going to Zira, let me save this integration. That's it. So, now our testing team has integration enabled. Okay, which is a Jira software. So let me go to Jira and uh, let me open a new tab for webhook. So this is the system. Let me go to webhook. Let me create a webhook here. Testing 
OG team integration let me name and uh, let me copy the webhook url so this is the webhook url let me copy this and paste this in the webhook such a simple thing and now come down here you can specify a jql query to send only events triggered by matching issues okay if you don't give jql what happens is whenever a issue created in any project in the jira you know it will notify the on call team of testing so that is the problem that's why you don't forget to give a jql where you need to notify the on call team so so i want to notify about the issues in the about the issues which are being created in project sp therefore i selected that jql and let me paste that and now you need to select issue created and issue updated as the obsidian mentioned here see here check issue created and issue updated events and click on create so okay issue created and issue updated events are checked now go and click on create button yes that's it now what happened the <clears throat> now obsidian and this sp projects are integrated with each other and so remember that this is a unidirectional integration that means if you create a issue in sp project then the alert okay will be triggered in testing team so let me go to the sp project and so yeah this is the sp project if i create a issue and before creating the issue i need to uh, mention something here let me go to the teams so for testing we have the integration and for dev team i think oh, okay so actually i had a integration in dev team also i think i removed it so there is no issue so uh let me click on alert tab now i'll try to create a issue here thereby the alert will be triggered in testing team of obsidian so let me write summary the alert needs to be notified to on call team of testing in obsidian so this is my summary let me create tap and yeah alert uh, so alert uh, goes into backlog the alert needs to be notified to on call team of testing in oj so now let me go to obsidiany boom see the magic happened here the alert needs to be notified to on call team of testing in oj so here the responder team is the testing team so this is the uh, uh, issue summary which i have given in even while creating the issue in sp project okay so this is the integration between jira and the obsidian and this is a unidirectional thing okay so now if you create a alert here that alert uh, can't be an issue in jira okay so this is a unidirectional integration if you create a jira in uh, jira issue in uh, jira software you will have alert in obsidian but if you have a alert in obsidian that alert uh, can't trigger to create a issue in jira so to achieve that we need to modify the integration we will see that in next video thank you if you like this video if you love this video just click uh, a like button and if these videos are useful to you just click on subscribe 
Thank you.